Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Falcon Blues TV. It's your boy Sasha, the American commentator, back for another instant match reaction. Before we get into it, drop me a follow on Twitter at EFC Richino if you like or don't like what I what I have to say. But here we go, straight into Everton 4, West Ham 1 at Goodison. Team news, uh, James and Allen come into the side. Carlo clearly, clearly wants a trophy, strong team. Worrying aspect is uh, Moise Keane doesn't make the team. Saw when he scored last time out against Fleetwood, he was unhappy, didn't really celebrate. celebrate. Not in the team, surely it means he's off. But not good, not ideal. Wasted talent if that's the case, like like Lookman, but hopefully we can recoup some of his uh some of his transfer fee, get a sell on clause, maybe a buyback. If we do let him go, uh have a smart piece of business there, which is something we haven't had in the past when we've let young players go, like De La Feu or or whatnot. But uh other than that, the team is strong clearly. Dom, Richie up top, Dean and Kunku, Keen and uh Kenny and uh and Delph. So strong team. We look good straight from the jump. Ten minutes in. Keen, what a ball. I could see the play before it was coming because he stepped in a little, played it over the top. Dom, what a touch. <laughs> Slots it in. One nil. We're cruising. First half, we apply the pressure. I like that. We were on the front foot the whole time. Richie, I thought he was our best player that first half other than that goal. He was unlucky not to score. Great save by Randolph offside by a half step. Hit the post later in the second half before he got his goal. But uh, he was everywhere. We really should have gotten the second. Especially if we want to make sure that they have no chance. You know, we get the second, maybe we get the third before half time and we can sub some players. But uh, <laughs> this game was, uh, was really... Uh, Really about the injuries, you know, we won 4-1. We had a nervy period second half. Give up a goal 26 seconds in. Terrible goal. I don't know what it was lazy or not. Allen can't be everywhere. But give up the goal. Good response to get the get the second from Richie, like I said. But he gets hurt. Kenny was hurt earlier. Allen gets hurt later. And that's, that's not good. It, we have uh, two crucial fixtures coming up. I know we have the break in two weeks, but... Brighton, they play attacking and attacking match, so we would know Allen to hold us down. Who's it going to be? I, I think Gilfi comes in, but it's going to be Dakura, Gilfi, Hamas. Who knows? But which is not what you want because Allen was immense today, man. He just runs everywhere. He and you can see what he means. He screens so well, and then when when the ball does get played in because he can't be everywhere, he he's yelling at the players for for their laps and concentration or whatnot. So him going down with the growing injury, which is probably the worst of out of him, Richie, or, or Kenny, really, really, really disconcerting. So not everything can be great when you win six in a row, but Richie, I think he'll be okay. He gave it a go, not feeling right. I'm fine with him being rested. He got his goal, whatnot. We need him fit for the weekend. Kenny, I don't think was that big of a knock, but Seamus came in, did really well. I didn't think there were too many too many players that played poorly. I mean, the goal, you could probably play Pickford. You could probably play blame Sigurdsson and one of the defenders for not closing him down. Pickford's positioning, I thought, was maybe a little shoddy. Should have been better. But other than that, I mean, Hattrick Hero Dom was... He, he was kind of poor. I mean, did his usual great hold-up play went up, but he had a sh couple shots that weren't on target. One with his strong foot and one with his left foot, but... You expect him to do, to do better, especially after the first goal, but, you know, he gets his hat trick. So, really made up for him, deserves it. Definitely needs to be in the squad uh, for Gareth Southgate. If, he, if he's not, travesty. Absolute travesty. <laughs> Most goals this, this scored this year in England, so so he needs that. Richie Amance, like I said, forget subbed out. And I thought Awobi, when he came on, was, was really good. He didn't give the ball away, really. He had, you know, the, the assist. Or, I don't even know if he gets an assist. That hit the post, but Dom's goal that happened, good striker's goal, but he was really bright on the left side, offered a bright spark creativity, so that was promising. So hopefully he doesn't go. But both these injuries, you know, we have 31 senior players, and the transfer window I think closes in three days now. So worrisome, worrisome because we are kind of a fragile squad. I don't want Delft to play in the PL for us. Don't really want Davies to, unless it's a cameo, you know, we need because 90 minutes is a long time, as you saw today, because West Ham threatened for a little bit in that second half when they got the equalizer and then when, when they were 2-1 down for a bit until they killed it off. So you you, you want to fit strong squad, especially when it's for Charleston and Allen, two of our most important players. So 
So hopefully that's nothing serious, but kind of put a, excuse me, put the put the damper on the mood because four one up quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup, where we went out last year to Leicester on pens. So clearly we're going for this this competition, but you hate to see it. You hate to, the injury bug, but good performance on to Brighton now. Um, I want to give a shout out before I, before I leap to Carlos Teckers in the first half. Still quality, always will be. Class is permanent, you know, as we say. But but good match, really solid. Only only downside are, are the injuries. And on to Brighton we go. So up the fucking toffees, Colin Chong.